Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christos Anestiac Lacron Thanato Thanaton Patisas Catisan Tis Nimazi Zoin Haris Amenos Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him flee from before his face. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish, just like wax which melts before the fire. Christos vos grace is met me, smet is met po prav, Jesus jivot rabbe jivot So the sinners will perish before the face of God, but let the righteous ones be glad. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Make a joyful noise to God on the earth, sing of his name, give glory to his praise. Through the prayers of the birth giver of God, Savior, save us. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that your enemies cringe before you. Through the prayers of the birth giver of God, Savior, save us. Let all the earth worship you and praise you. Let it praise your name, O Most High. Through the prayers of the birth giver of God, Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of the birth giver of God, Savior, save us. God, be bountiful to us and bless us. Show the light of your countenance upon us. 
and have mercy on us. O Son of God, who arose from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. That we may know your way upon the earth, and your salvation among all nations. O Son of God, who arose from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Let the peoples give thanks to you, O God. Let all the people give thanks to you. O Son of God, who arose from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Let God bless us, and let all the ends of the earth fear him. O Son of God, who arose from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. <laughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, you are immortal. For our salvation, you deign to be incarnate of the holy birth giver of God and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man. You were crucified, Christ God, trampling down death by death. You are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Save us. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him flee from before his face. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. As smoke vanishes, so let them vanish, just like wax which melts before the fire. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. So the sinners will perish before the face of God, but let the righteous ones be glad. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Before the dawn, Mary and the women came, and found the stone rolled away from the tomb. They heard, they heard the angelic voice, Why do you seek among the dead? As a man, the one who is everlasting light, behold the clothes in the tomb. Go and proclaim to the world, the Lord is risen. He has slain death, for he is the Son of God, saving the human race. Now and ever into the ages of ages, amen, you descended into the tomb, immortal one, and destroyed the power of death. In victory you arose, Christ God, proclaiming rejoice to the
the murmuring women. You granted peace to your apostles and bestowed resurrection on the fallen. <laughs> As many as have been baptized into Christ, have been robed in Christ. Alleluia. As many as have been baptized into Christ, have been robed in Christ. Alleluia. As many as have been baptized into Christ, have been robed in Christ. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen have been robed in Christ. Alleluia. As many as have been baptized into Christ, have been robed in Christ. Alleluia. Their proclamation has gone out into all the earth, and their words to the ends of the universe. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. The reading from the Acts of the Holy Apostles. In those days, then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. And when they had entered, they went up into the upper room where they were staying, Peter, James, John, and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus, and Simon the zealot, and Judas the son of James. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication, with the women and Mary the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. And in those days Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples. Altogether the number of names was about 120. And he said, Men and brethren, this scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke before by the mouth of David concerning Judas, who had become a guide to those who arrested Jesus. For he was numbered with us and obtained a part in this ministry. Therefore, of these men who have accompanied us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John to that day when he was taking, taken up from us, of these, one must become a witness with us of his resurrection. And they proposed too, Joseph called Barsabbas, who was surnamed Justice, and Matthias. And they prayed and said, You, O Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which of these two you have chosen to take part in this ministry and apostleship from which Judas by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place. And they cast their lots, and the lot fell on Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let the heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, your faithfulness in the assembly of the saints. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. God is glorified in the council of the saints. Alleluia. 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 The reading 
from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. No one has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, who is in the bosom of the Father, he has declared him. Now this is the testimony of John, when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did, and did not deny, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? And he answered, No. Then they said to him, Who are you, that we may give an answer to those who sent us? What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. As the prophet Isaiah said, Now those who were, pres who were sent from the Pharisees, and they asked him, saying, Why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? John answered them, saying, I baptize with water. But there stands one among you whom you do not know. It is he who, coming after me, is preferred before me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to loose. These things were done in Bethabara, beyond the Jordan, where John was baptizing. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. The choirs of heaven chant to you and say, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Approach, be enlightened, and you will not be made to blush. The choirs of holy archangels and angels, with all the bodiless powers of heaven, chant to you, saying, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, being of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, who was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose from the dead in accordance with the scriptures and descended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the age to come. Amen. And now we will read a prayer in time of coronavirus. O Lord Jesus Christ, in your loving care, you traveled through towns and villages, curing every disease and illness. At your command, the sick were made well. Come to our aid now in the midst of the global spread of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. Be with the families of those who are sick or have died. May they regain their strength and health through quality medical care. As they worry and grieve, defend them from illness and despair. 
Heal us from our fear, which prevents nations from working together and neighbors from helping one another. Be with the doctors, nurses, researchers, and all medical professionals who seek to heal and help those affected and who put themselves at risk in the process. Heal us from our pride, which can make us claim invulnerability to a disease that knows no borders. Be with the leaders of all nations. Give them the foresight to act with charity and true concern for the well-being of the people they are meant to serve. Give them the wisdom to invest in long-term solutions that will help prepare for or prevent future outbreaks. O Master and Lord our Savior, Healer of all, stay by our side in this time of uncertainty and sorrow. Whether we are home or abroad, surrounded by many people suffering from this illness or only a few, Stay with us as we endure and mourn, persist and prepare. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord our God, who by your word alone healed all diseases, who cured the kinswoman of Peter of fever, you that chastise with pity and heal according to your goodness, who are able to put aside every sickness and infirmity. May you, the same Lord, grant aid to your servants, all the residents of the St. Pantaleon Ministry who are ill and afflicted, all of our relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who have asked us to remember them in our prayers, unworthy though our prayers may be, and those who have no one to pray for them, and cure them of every sickness of which they are grieved, and send down upon them your great mercy. And if it be your will, give to them health and a complete recovery. For you are the physician of our souls and bodies, and to you we send up glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ, our eternal King and God, you have destroyed death and the devil by your cross, and have restored man to life by your resurrection. Give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants. All the residents of the St. Pantaleon Ministry who have departed this life, all of our departed relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who are newly departed, and all those who have departed this life throughout the ages, in your kingdom where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering, in your goodness and love for mankind, pardon all the sins they have committed in thought, word, or deed, for there is no one who lives and sins not. You only are without sin. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants, who have departed this life, O Christ our God. To you we send up glory, with your eternal Father, and your all-holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O God, absolve, remit, and pardon our voluntary and involuntary sins, in word and deed, known and unknown, by day and by night, in mind and thought. Forgive us all in your goodness and love for the human race. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Duamne miluyeste, Duamne miluyeste, Duamne miluyeste. Hospodi po miluj, Hospodi po miluj, Hospodi po miluj. O Holy Trinity, co-essential might, kingdom undivided, source of all good, be gracious to me, a sinner. Establish and give understanding to my heart. Remove every defilement from me. Enlighten my mind, that I may continually glorify, chant hymns and worship you, saying, One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen.
Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. My soul will be praised by the Lord. Let the meek hear and be glad. Magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and he delivered me out of all my troubles. Come to him and be radiant, and your faces will not be ashamed. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord will camp around those who fear him, and will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who hopes in him. Fear the Lord, all you his saints, because those who fear him lack nothing. The rich become poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord will not be in want of anything good. The angel cried to the lady full of grace, Rejoice, rejoice, O pure virgin. Again I say rejoice, Your son is risen from his three days in the tomb. With himself he has raised all the dead. Rejoice, rejoice, all you people. Shine, 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 oh, new Jerusalem, the glory of the Lord has shone. Exalt now, exalt, and be glad, O Zion. Be radiant, O pure birth giver of God, in the resurrection, the resurrection of your Son. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, O Lord bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, Trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. And to us he has granted life eternal. Let us venerate his third day resurrection.